welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that using De Morvis theorem, find all the values of 2 minus 2 iota by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4. Also find the continued product of the three values. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is De Morvis theorem. According to this, if n is any integer positive or negative, then cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta. And secondly, if n is any fraction positive or negative, then one of the values of cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta. Now this result will work out as a key idea. For solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Here by using De Morris theorem we have to find all the values of this. So we have to find all the values of 2 minus 2 iota by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4. For this, put 2 is equal to r cos theta and minus 2 by root 3 is equal to r sin theta. And let us name it as 1 and this as 2. Now, squaring and adding, we get 2 square plus of minus 2 by root 3 whole square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta which further implies 4 plus 4 by 3 is equal to r square into cos square theta plus sin square theta the whole. And this implies 16 by 3 is equal to r square into now cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 and r square into 1 is equal to r square. This further implies r square is equal to 16 by 3 which gives r is equal to root 16 by 3 which is equal to 4 by root 3. Now here we will consider only the positive value of r because in trigonometric form r is the absolute value or modulus of the complex number r says theta. Now this is the equation number 1. So from 1 we have 2 is equal to r cos theta. Now r is equal to 4 by root 3. So 2 is equal to 4 by root 3 into cos theta 
And this implies cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2. Now this is the equation number 2. Now from 2 we have minus 2 by root 3 is equal to r sin theta which implies minus 2 by root 3 is equal to r now r is 4 by root 3 into sin theta this implies sin theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 so we have cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2 and sin theta is equal to minus 1 by 2. Now since cos theta is positive and sin theta is negative, therefore theta lies in the fourth quadrant. Now, sin theta over cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 over root 3 by 2. So this implies tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 and this is equal to minus 10 pi by 6. Now this implies tan theta is equal to now this term is written as tan pi minus pi by 6 also this can be written as 10 2 pi minus pi by 6. Which further implies from these two we have theta is equal to 5 pi by 6 or from these two we have theta is equal to 11 pi by 6. Now this value of theta is in the second quadrant and this value of theta is in the fourth quadrant. Now we have discussed earlier that theta lies in the fourth quadrant. So we accept theta is equal to 11 pi by 6 as this is in the fourth quadrant. Therefore, 2 minus 2 by root 3 into iota whole raised to by 1 by 4 is equal to r cos theta plus r sin theta into iota whole raised to by 1 by 4. Now taking n common, it will be equal to r raised to by 1 by 4 into now cos theta, now theta here is 11 pi by 6, so this will be cos 11 pi by 6 plus sine 11 pi by 6 into iota whole raised to power 1 by 4. Now r is equal to 4 by root 3. Now this is equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into now here, by using the result, that is, cos 2n pi plus theta is equal to cos theta and sin 2n pi plus theta is equal to sin theta, this can be written as cos 2n pi plus 11 pi by 6 plus iota sin 2n pi plus 11 pi by 6. 
Very close to power 1 by 4. Now using this result which is given in the key idea. Now n is 1 by 4 and this is theta. So this will be equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos n which is 1 by 4 theta which is 2n by plus 11 pi by 6 plus iota sine n which is 1 by 4 theta which is 2n pi plus 11 pi by 6. Further, this is equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 2n pi by 4 plus 11 pi by 24 plus iota sine 2n pi by 4 plus 11 pi by 24 the whole where n is equal to 0, 1 and 2. Thus, all the three values of 2 minus 2 by root 3 into iota whole raised to power 1 by 4 are now for n is equal to 0, 1 and 2 we will find three different values of this expression. Now for n is equal to 0, this expression will become 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 0 plus 11 pi by 24 plus iota into sine 0 plus 11 pi by 24 the whole which will be further equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 11 pi by 24 plus iota sine 11 pi by 24 the whole therefore one value of this expression is 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 11 pi by 24 plus iota sine 11 pi by 24 the whole. Now for n is equal to 1, this expression will be 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 2 pi by 4 plus 11 pi by 24 plus iota sine 2 pi by 4 plus 11 pi by 24 the whole which is further equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 23 pi by 24 plus iota sine 23 pi by 24 the whole. So the second value of this expression is 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 23 pi by 24 plus iota sine 23 pi by 24 the whole. Now for n is equal to 2, this expression will be 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 4 pi by 4 plus 11 pi by 24 plus iota sine 4 pi by 4 plus 11 pi by 24 the whole which is equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 35 pi by 24 plus iota sine 35 pi by 24 the whole so the third value of this expression is 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 35 pi by 24 plus iota sine 35 pi by 24 the whole.
Now we have to find the continued product of the three values. Now the continued product of these three values will be 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos 11 pi by 24 plus 23 pi by 24 plus 35 pi by 24 plus iota sine 11 pi by 24 plus 23 pi by 24 plus 35 pi by 24 the whole and this will be equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos on solving this it will be 69 pi by 24 plus iota sine and on solving this it will be 69 pi by 24 the whole which is further equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos on solving this it will be 23 pi by 8 plus iota sine 23 pi by 8 the whole now on solving cos 23 pi by 8 and sine 23 pi by 8 we are getting minus cos pi by 8 and sine pi by 8 respectively so this will be equal to 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into minus cos pi by 8 plus iota sine pi by 8 the whole. Further, this is equal to minus 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos pi by 8 minus iota sine pi by 8 the whole. So the continued product of these two values of this expression is minus 4 by root 3 whole raised to power 1 by 4 into cos pi by 8 minus iota sine pi by 8 the whole. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.